Hi guys, this is Mathias, and uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys are still wondering, is it fun to fly in Battlefield 5? Well, if you are asking yourself that question, and if you're thinking about whether or not you're going to start flying, or whether or not you're actually going to buy this game for at least partly the sake of flying, well, one thing that you should know first and foremost is that you're most likely going to be in for a challenge. And the reason why I'm saying that is that uh, by now there are plenty of pilots out there that have fully upgraded planes. And upgrades or specializations, they make a lot of difference. And yes, weather effects are here, both sandstorm and fog. See, I'm starting off the video with some bomber gameplay. And even though this plane is meant for air to ground, you can shoot down other planes with it. And you'll see a little bit of that during this gameplay. Now, for the ones of you who have been following my content from Battlefield 1, you all know that Matti never crashes. No! Well, if I would crash, something that has never happened, but if I would, then at least I would take it with ease and I would keep my cool. So now, for the most part, when you spawn a plane, you spawn in in the air, just like in Battlefield 1. But um, on some maps, on some places of the map, you actually spawn in on the runway, as you saw there. Oh baby, a kill! So during the first week of playing Battlefield 5, I have almost exclusively been playing infantry. Some of you guys might be surprised with that, but uh, actually, I've always focused on infantry more than flying in every game, even though my content sometimes will give you another impression. So keep in mind that none of the planes that you will see in this video are going to be fully upgraded. Some of them, or most of them, are going to have some upgrades, and I'm looking forward to showing you fully upgraded planes soon enough. Now flying uncontested with a bomber, you can most likely deal quite significant amount of damage once you get the hang of especially dropping the bombs. However, if you do get the hang of it and you start getting some kills, you're probably going to be countered quite quickly. Now how much and how fast might vary depending on where you live, on what platform you play and during what time you play. Now one of the things you want to keep in mind is that seat switching is definitely a thing in Battlefield 5. If you start chasing an experienced bomber pilot, then it's probably not going to take many seconds before he switches his seat and starts shooting back at you. And that tail gun is pretty powerful, you see it uh, a couple of times in this video, I hope. Let me show you when I drop some bombs first. Oh B, look at how fast I take it. Where is B? Oh there. Watch out there! Oh baby, a triple! So right after that bombing run, I directly go to resupply myself. And you see those little symbols that I passed right there. Normally there are a few of them on each map, and you just have to try to remember where they are. And if you're having trouble locating them, then you can always press M if you play on keyboard to open up the map. They definitely show up on the map and you can navigate that way. Oh, enemy hit for 35 damage! Uh, yeah, I was talking about seat switching, right? This is what it can look like. Whoa! Um, actually, I think that was more of a, a ramming demonstration, but uh, we'll have some more seat switching soon. But first I want to show you a little bit of a fighter gameplay as well, and notice how I spawn into the air again, just like in Battlefield 1 here. I also want to point out that, uh, for whatever reason, I'm doing a lot better with the German fighter. I haven't had any way near the same success with the Spitfire. Now, if this is something to do with me choosing the wrong upgrades or uh, specializations, honestly, I don't know. But I just seem to do a lot better fighting for the bad guys. Now, one of the things that's important to understand when it comes to seat switching is that 
the planes will not behave the way they did in Battlefield 1 or still do in Battlefield 1. In Battlefield 5, the planes will almost immediately start facing down and dropping towards the ground. So you have to switch back quite fast in order to not crash. Oh, depot will there. You don't get the... When they crash like that, you don't get the... Kill, that's unfair. Fuck. Some AA here somewhere. Be aware that we have lost objective Friedrich. Attention, we are losing objective data. Oh, I think I killed the AA. Huh? Erobern wir dieses Ziel. Oh, two fighters. So yeah, what you see here is something that has worked for me a few times actually. I switch switch, deal a lot of damage to the fighter that's chasing me, and as it passes me, I'm able to finish him off with my main gun. Of course, in time, people are going to adjust to this and avoid it, but I think it's definitely worth knowing, regardless of whether or not you're the one chasing the other pilot or being chased. So yeah, just like with any Battlefield game, when you are a pilot, you need to be aware of the AA, you need to know how to avoid it and how to counter it. Now, when I've been lucky enough to be able to take out an AA, it can look like this. Whoa! I got that AA though. So now before I end the post commenting on this video, I just want to let you know that I do have a little bit of flying gameplay on my secondary channel as well. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. And it's going to be unedited highlights from Twitch. So the quality is going to be a little bit lower and you'll also see me in the face cam. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're looking forward to see more gameplay. I think that I will be focusing mostly on infantry on this channel, but I haven't really made up my mind yet. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section and thanks for watching.
fucking AA. On this map they camp the AA constantly. Transport destroyed. You need to return to the combat zone. Really? What if I don't want to? Now, our. 